Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the surveys. To add a survey is just as easy as adding a list or a document library. You go into your Add an App selector, and the easiest way to find is, of course, to search. So I'm going to search for survey here and find the survey. And then I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it Bikes because we're working with Contoso Bicycles. That's the organization we're kind of working within here. So I'm going to go in here on the Bikes, it's, which is under Recent now. I'm going to drag that out of Recent. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Let's see, edit links. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, let's go into Settings instead and set it in navigation and to display on the quick launch. Yes, all right, there we have it on the quick launch. And now I can go in and modify the actual survey. I do that by going into settings again and adding questions. As you'll notice, the bikes survey here does not have the ribbon, the usual ribbon that was introduced with SharePoint 2010. Instead, it looks a lot like the SharePoint 2007 settings. So here I go in to add a question, or as you see, I can go into survey settings. But I'm going to go into add questions there and um, type a question. How often do you ride your Composo bike? Is the question. I'm going to make that a choice. The choice is going to be every day. And now and then, rather unspecific, but uh, and then never. Then I'm going to do a branching based on the never because if they never ride their bike, they're not very reliable. So I'm going to define a branch uh, later on this. Meanwhile, I'm going to do the next question. How do you like your Contoso bike? And that's going to be a rating scale. You see, the other types of questions here are very much like the types of columns that you add to a regular list. But this rating is different. It is based on sub-questions. So I'm going to ask for sub-questions on comfort, on speed, and price. And I'm going to have five options here. It's always good. And I'm going to, the range text is going to be bad, average, and good. All right, and I want to have the not available option. If they don't have any opinion on speed, they're going to have that option to select that. All right, and then we're going to go to the next question. And then, uh, what should be the name of our next bicycle? And that's going to be a choice also. I have a couple of options here, but I will allow them to fill in their own choices here if they want to. So I have the options Blue Thunder, and then Racing King, and Glider Master. Those are my three options, and then people can give their own options there, all right? So that concludes my adding questions. Now I just want to do some branching here. And if they don't ride the bicycle ever, they select never, then I want to do some branching here. So if they are selecting never there, then I want them to go on to what should be the name of our next bicycle. Then they shouldn't be how do you like your Contoso bike, because then it's not relevant. So there we are done. And now we're going to go ahead and answer respond to this survey but i'm going to do that in the next demo this demo shows you how to set up your survey thank you for watching